Okay, hello everybody, boys, girls, lords, ladies and gentlemen. It's the wonderful, delightful Nick Dutch back on the camera yet again. What I do here on YouTube is I do tarot readings. Now, a tarot reading is predominantly an entertainment service, but it can have some kind of therapeutic benefit as well. And now here in the UK, I'm also available for party hire in my local area throughout the country, basically nearly anywhere. If for me, it, it's a full-time job. I do tarot, it's my living, okay? Here on YouTube, I'm giving away free reading videos, and what you're about to see is another free re reading demonstration. We've got an inquirer, she's been a customer of mine before, and I'm doing one for her today, and her login name I think is Calmax, and she just wants to do uh, a bit of a general, see basically what's coming through for the rest of the year, good, bad, indifferent, love career, and all the rest of that kind of fun stuff, and that's what I'm going to do. Yes, I'm still using the same tarot pack as before because I just happen to have it at hand and I'll just see what comes through. We'll just do a quick 12 months. Hmm. Alright, you've got a very peculiar and complex spread. I'm not going to guarantee that this is going to be the finest year of your entire life. The short-term future and mid-term future has got signs of worry and anxiety and there is a feeling of, of some kind of project that you're involved in, possibly giving you some kind of possible failure. Do I actually see failure here? Well, that'll depend upon how you apply yourself. All I'm doing here is seeing a representation of certain moods associated with different times of the year. Okay, so there's the fear of failure. Do I think it's actual failure? Probably not. I feel that you're a very intelligent individual who's capable of overcoming obstacles. The only thing that can make you fail is if you carry on doing the same thing time and time and time again expecting different results, all right, because that's called insanity, some people say. The feeling that this reading is giving me is that of being able to step back, develop a level of objectivity about the problems that you've got, and try and work out whether there are other ways of tackling the same issue. Do I think I can actually use this reading today to focus on precisely in what ways you could be doing the same thing differently? Uh, basically, no. We'd have to do that on a live one-to-one -one call because this way, you know, via a video, it's only a one-way conversation and I can't really promise you the equality of accuracy that you're after. However, now, this is the interesting point, okay? Whether this is as a direct result of you starting to do the next right thing or not, it's difficult to say, but there is a feeling in this reading of a much greater, much greater sense of happiness and joy coming around about your midterm future. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just quickly show you the card so you get a feeling as to you know what's going on here. Just a moment, please. Okay, those are the signs I saw for the short-term future. You got the seven of coins reversed, sometimes labeled as failure, okay? That's the fear of failure I saw and the sense of anxiety associated with it. So up to four months, things are a bit tricky for you. But after that, We've got these three signs here, okay? Sense of happiness and joy, just about coming about. It's a re reverse sign, so I feel that there's going to be more benefits coming to you in the longer term and not just yet. But we've still got further cup signs afterwards. A very different sense to all this concern here. I feel this negativity could be, you know, finance, career, work orientated. And this is much more to do with um, social interaction, getting involved with people, people who can possibly help you out. So the middle of the year for you is going to be quite good. Now, the very end of the year, this is something that many people would assume would mean something really rather scary. It's the lightning struck tower, but it's also called the house of God. And sometimes that can actually mean, or it can refer to, uh, a sense of divine intervention at some times. Now, remember, at the beginning of the year, there's some difficulties for you, but we've got divine intervention with a sense of there being community involvement to try and help you through it. And there's a sense of potential success and achievement halfway, you know, halfway through around about Halloween time. So, you know, what does this mean? What kind of things is this story trying to tell me today? Well, basically, you know, what I feel is that you've got a bit of a ride ahead of you. I don't think it is going to be the most emotionally easy year for you. But I'm also seeing this wonderful feeling of being able to get through to overcome obstacles and a sense of divine fortitude at the end of it. And it feels good because you've got some very positive signs just before that, almost as if you're being assisted to reach a new level. So essentially, should you be looking forward to like really, really good things in this year of 2010, I think what we're looking at is a laying down of a foundation for some really, really good stuff to happen for you in the year of 2011. So this is a very important year for you because 
you're making sure that your future can be better. I don't know what planning and preparation you're putting into place. I don't know what projects you're working on. But I can tell you that whatever it is, it's going to make your year of 2011 pretty special. So for the moment, I just bid you good fortune, God and or goddess and or none of the above bless. Nick Dutch, signing out for now.